y'all, what's happening with y'all baby tall guy Carl is back with another legendary video. Baby, y'all know what to do, man. Go follow all social media platforms. A S A P. Now the Instagram, as y'all know, just got hacked. So it's tall guy car views with an underscore now. Everything else remains the same, man. So make sure y'all follow all social medias. ASAP, man. Look at the new camera key. See my reflection? Don't it look cool? Yes, it does, man. But let's go ahead and uh Hop up in the Ram Breezy and let's go. All right, G-Squad, so what are we doing today? We are going to meet up my guy, Paul, from Family Cruising. If you don't know, you ain't G-Squad, you ain't watched every last video, then you might not know who he is. But if you got a Hellcat or you watch all the Hellcat videos on the planet, then you know who he is. His Hellcat burned up, a whole bunch of stuff, man. If you want to find out about all that, make sure you go to his YouTube channel and uh, subscribe to his channel and uh, rock with him. But um, I'm going to go meet up with him. He's in Minnesota. He hit me up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't really have time, but I'm going to make time. You know what I'm saying? Because I love collaborating with people. So I'm going to go over here, rock with him, and we'll see y'all in a minute, man. We just pulled up here to my guy, John, at Four Wheel Parts. And look at that big lifted up truck. That joint look crazy. I'm going to have to show y'all that in one minute, man. There, but there go my guy, Paul, family cruising, man. What's up, Paul? How you feeling, my man? What's going on? Where's your GoPro? I left all that stuff at home. I didn't expect to be doing videos. I told you we was going to do a video if you was in Minnesota. I know. I forgot. I bet you the Ram Reezy about to look super minuscule next to that uh, big old truck. Now, hey, here goes a little fun fact for y'all. Here goes my guy, John, uh, here at Four Wheel Parts. This is his uh, Ram right here. I actually got my rims and tires right off his truck. He got a six inch slip and all that stuff. Now he got some different rims and different tires on there. But anyway, man, let's go over here and see what the Ram Reezy look like. Next is big old truck. This joint looks ridiculous. Look at that. I'm telling you, something about them four trucks when they be sitting up lifting like that, they be looking so insane, man. I got to go big wide U turn in this joint because uh, I'll be rubbing if I do like a sharp turn in this truck. So, anyway, man, we'll see what it's looking like next to it. Look at how big this truck is. Four wheel parts, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, man. But come on, man. Look at that. I'm looking up at this thing. This thing looks crazy. Oh, man, I got to pull up right next to it to see how this thing looks. This is about to look, make, make my truck look super small. It looks small, don't it? Yeah. That thing looks like a stock pickup truck next to that thing. That thing looks the same. What's up with you, champ? How you feeling? He got the Grand Cherokee lifted up. But look at that. This thing looks. See, this is what I want. I want something like this. Look, look at the what? That went the bulletproof joint. Oh, he made. This is the one that John was talking about. This lift is like, I think the lift itself is like 12, 13 grand. So, yeah, you get a full understanding. Look at this. Damn. No, this truck is insane. What? No, this joint's ridiculous, Paul. Paul, you got to do something like this on your Rebel. <laughs> you got to do something like this. I tell you what. I get 100,000 subscribers and I'll do this shit to my Rebel. Uh, you I should. Will, I will put an 8-inch lift on it. I think that'll be, I think it'll be worth it, brother. I mean, look at this. Damn. Hard. This thing look crazy. Yeah, this joint's nuts. <laughs> they smoked the game with this one. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. Look at mine. Mine just look big old, you know, Section 8 type. You know, compared to this joint right here. There's levels to everything, man. But look at this. Sheesh. I like the color. That red up under there. It looks so weird seeing you with your with your iPhone. Do <laughs> so, you think it's still going to be as crispy? Yeah, it's going to be 4K. Oh, yeah. It's still an iPhone. Yeah. I yeah, guess so. This is iPhone got to cut the check. We got to keep dropping the iPhone name. We got to cut, cut the check. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, they won't cut the check to us. No, of course not. We little peons of them. But, uh, man, look at this, man. This joint is crazy. Hey, bro, this gotta be like the next lift. How you doing, champ? How you doing? What's going on, my man? If y'all G-Squad, y'all know who this man is. Where's John at? John in there? I seen this truck over there on the side. It's not often we can make your truck look little. That's what I'm saying, man. Mine look like a little peon, didn't he? Look at that. Yeah, this is Do you not... feel like an inferior truck owner? I still feel legendary. Don't get me wrong, Paul. I still feel legendary, but it's, oh. I mean, look at that joint, though. It look crazy. How long did it take y'all to put that on there? Uh, it's been a while. That, uh, as we did all the powder coating, yep. took the axles out, painted them, did really basically redid everything underneath there. Yep. So it's been here a while. And how? What year is this truck? I think it's a 17. Yeah, because I was wondering because they got the new headlights. A little, yeah. they got the best looking headlights, bro. I'm sorry if you don't want to say it, Ram, but they yeah. do. Look at, because they got that big old um, yeah. that right there. That yeah, that's, like a that's crispy. I always like that, man. That's nice. That's a legendary truck, man. Let me go and say what's up to John. Come here, yeah. Paul. You gotta meet my guy, John, man. What's up, champ? How you feeling? Hit that, Paul. Say what's up to the G Squad. What's up, G Squad? Yeah, man. Where's where John at, man? Tell John to quit eating them donuts, man. Hey, John, put the donuts down, man. How you feeling, baby? <laughs> hey, I see that Ford out there. Oh, it's 
Ram okay, that's our next bill, bro. We gotta get the Ram Reezy looking like that, bro. Cause that thing look insane. Y'all got it powder coated with the red and all that. Uh, yeah. Was that y'all touched? Did he want that? No, nah, he wanted that. Hey, and John, this is my guy, uh, Paul from Family hey, Cruising. He got a Ram Rebel. He's a big YouTuber too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He does all the legendary stuff, man. But you got He got a Ram Rebel. He got to get his Ram Rebel looking like that out there. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I said if I hit 100,000 subscribers, we'll put an eight inch lift on it. Yeah. Hey, and what what's would that be out there? Is if we could keep so, the uh, air suspension. Oh yeah, can't that's do that. The, that's the problem on the on the Rebels, man. Is he really can't. Um, the uh, the kit on that one is a 12 inch bulletproof. No, okay. Oh wow. Yeah, that one yeah, like 12, yeah. 13 grand for just the kit itself. Yeah, it's uh, it's like 15k for the kit. It's oh, got, pardon me. 15. Got like Seven or eight k in powder coating. Okay. Powder coating everything. Powder coating the axles. Uh, it, it's pretty nuts. I mean, it's uh, man, it's it's a satchel. See now the first it's question. Like six grand in tires and wheels on that thing. <laughs> what? Hey, listen, four wheel parts, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, <laughs> my guy John. Hey, listen here. I ain't just saying it. I ain't get paid to say, but this is my guy. You know, we got the partnerships, but they're going to give you the best deals. I'm 100% for real with y'all. Make sure you come here. Do you go see Paul. You know Paul. There you go. He's damn right, y'all. You got to get on the market if you can. But right. this is the place I rock where they built up the whole Ram Reason, so that way y'all get a full understanding. Ram Reason. But um, I, I stole that term from you. No, you can't steal it. It's mine, bro. It's, it's been copyrighted, brother. You can't. It's a like copyright infringement, brother. You can't do that. Oh. Right, John? What's this man talking about? Man, what you talking about, Paul? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> copyright infringement, brother. You got to cut me a check if you're going to steal my name. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, brother. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about? You got to cut me a check, huh, John? All right, man. Well, I'm going to go out here and check it out, man. Right. You know what I mean? Appreciate you, though, yeah, John. Really good to see you guys. But listen, man. If y'all want to get any stuff done, I'm serious, man. Four wheel parts, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. It's the people I rock with. They do all the stuff. I got my stud ladders from here. I'm about to get a bumper, too, Paul. I'm about to You're get a bumper. Get a bumper? I'm going to get a bumper. I'm going to get I'm gonna get some more legendary stuff, too. I ain't going to put something done. I don't Which know. One? Not none of these. Ones. I don't think none of these fit my truck, but I'm going to get something done. I got to show you his bumper. I might buy the bumper off his truck. Come here, let me show you what it looks like. It looks yeah. legendary. See how I got the regular bumper? Yeah. He has like the armored one with like the light bar and all that stuff on oh, the inside. Cool. So it look crispy. Let me show you. That's it right here. See, it got the bumper. It got like the armor stuff and it got the light bar in it. But I don't know. I kind of don't like the open face look though. You know what I mean? Like. It looks like it has a big mouth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, man. Like a big ass head with no bottom lip. That wouldn't right. look like. Like, I don't know. Like, but like I the like the head. light bar though. You know what I mean? Yeah. It looks cool to me. But I don't know. We're going to see. Comment below and let us know. Should I go with that bumper or should I go with the damn, you know, just get light, like a light bar or something. But I like, I kind of like it. At first I was like, oh, I hate it. And now I'm like, it'd be a cool mod for the channel. Huh? A Jeep with a pull bar. Yeah, like a winch. Like a, win a winch. Winch. I said winch. Bar that goes on top. Yeah, oh, I don't like that one that's on the Jeep, bro. I don't like them kind of ones. That's like two countryman status for me. I need some that's a little, little swag, bro. Like I know... I know you can't really, it's okay, swag though, no, brother. Yeah, we, no. we need that, you know what I mean? But it looks like a, a winch can go right here though, right? Like that's probably set for a winch. So I used to have a Cadillac Escalade with that big gigantic brush bar on the front of it. For real? Yeah. Uh, Escalade, bro? Yeah. Are you crazy? Why? No, you're, no, that's not okay, bro. That probably looked like an abomination, didn't it? People made fun of me. Yeah, 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 bro. I'm sorry if you want to tell you, but you're embarrassing. <laughs> Come on, let's go over here. You gotta drive the Ram Reezy now, Paul. So this is what we about to do. We about to have Paul drive the Ram Reezy. Cause Paul, when I met up with him, he we went and got something to eat last night. It took forever because I've been busy as hell. Me and Paul have been trying to figure out the time. He's been here for a few days. I'm just now getting to it. But I be busy as hell, man. I'm trying to tell y'all this. But I like collaborating with people. That's what it's all about, man. So um Paul's gonna drive the Ram Reezy. Paul said he liked the Ram Reezy. He liked all the whole I'm build. I'm a big fan of the Ram Reezy. Okay, so. Let's yeah, go ahead. You go. ready to drive it, brother? Yeah, Come let's, on, let's drive go. it. So this is the new iPhone, by the way, the uh, big iPhone. Oh, yeah. So we're going to see how it works. First video with it. Okay, let's go. Start it up. Oh, yeah. You, you're embarrassing. My bad, Paul. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you figured it out. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Little boy, old nasty man. Now What's I kind of feel like I'm playing uh, you're Mr. Organic. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mr. I did Organic. the mid-muffler delete on my RAM. Okay, let me and see then, how it look. It's looking crispy. Oh, yeah, it looks yeah, crispy, And Paul. then I did the... Uh, uh, and then I put Flowmaster in because the wife thought it was too loud. Okay. Hmm. Which exhaust do you have on this truck? This I have no exhaust. It's just a muffler delete, and I got oh. I, I changed the tips, the exhaust tips, to the carver tips. Oh yeah, those yeah. look good. So I gave that big, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, high, the look matters a lot. The perception, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I I want to get rid of the chrome tips since I got all black like. Yeah. Features, so. I'm getting rid of the black tips too. Yeah, watch this. You, you, you felt the rubbing? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just talking about that in my video on the way over here. If you turn too hard, because I got 38 tires. 
with a six inch lift. If I would have went with like a lift like that truck over yeah, here, I'd have be been fine. cool. Yeah, I'd have been cool. But you know, since I ain't got the big old lift on there, you can feel the tires, but it's not bad. It's not like super like aggressively rough. You know, no. like, you know what I'm saying? But these are expensive ones too. These are pro country tires too. So uh, you know, they are expensive. So go ahead and hit the highway. Watch, go ahead and hit it. Put the floor in real quick, Paul. Like it still moves though, don't it? Yeah. It still moves. You see what I'm saying? It still go right? Yeah. Yeah, you what, said? What gear does, does this truck have? This gear, uh, brother, you starting to ask me questions that's over my head. I don't know what the hell you talking about, Paul. Um, <laughs> it's an automatic, brother. It's, an, it's in drive. <laughs> so, the four-wheel drive, like the Rebels come with 392 gears, higher to the number, 3.92, higher the number, faster the truck is. Um, okay, fun little fact. Just learned something new. I don't so, know. You gotta ask John at four wheel parts. He's one of the I'm guys betting this either has a 321 or a 355. I'm betting you're probably right. Because I don't know. The, I bet you're more right than I am. Hey, you know what? A cool, probably not <laughs> a huge expensive swap would be to put 392 gears in it and it'll give it some more speed. For real? For what? Well, I need more speed for it. Uh, it's a big that, ass truck. I don't need what I need some, some more speed for. <laughs> You want me to go faster in this big ass truck? I don't think that's recommended, brother. Yeah, why not? Let's see if it can do 130. Oh, no. Okay, go ahead. No. Let's see. Go ahead. Now, is this accurate? Did he change the computer? Man, listen there, Paul. You keep asking me all these questions, brother. I don't want to try to put me on the spot. I don't know, brother. No, uh, no. <laughs> because when you put bigger tires, the speedo's off. Hey, brother, I don't know, man. Um, okay, you got to talk to Charlie Four Wheel Parks. <laughs> I don't know. You but, know uh, you keep that easy on. You're making me hot, making me nervous, Paul. I don't oh, know, dude, I'm know all these damn damn questions, all these answers, the answers, all these questions. You know what I mean? But here we go. Sheesh. So, so what's your favorite thing about this truck? Favorite thing about this truck, I'd have to say my favorite thing about this truck would be the lift. The lift? The lift. The lift and the tires. The lift and the tires is by, well, by far my favorite. I love the leather and I love everything you've done to this truck. Thanks, I'm Paul. jealous. I'll trade you, even trade Rebel for this. Never in life. Because okay. uh, you know what? Now I get why people will actually build their tr uh, cars and trucks up because it yeah. does give a little bit of significance to them when you've done it. But at the same time, I would never do it again. Ever. Really? Never. Nope. Too much damn money, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's too much money. Too, too much damn money, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry if you want to say it. All right. If you got money, this is cool, but you ain't got, you ain't rich and ain't that cool. This so. is a video that I cannot let my wife watch. Why? Because she'll tell me to stop spending money. Oh, yeah, that's true. What is the name of the business? This is what you do. You're a YouTuber. So, hey, listen here. What's your wife's name? Trisha. Trisha? Listen, it's the name of the business. You ain't got to invest in the pot. You ain't got to put food in the pot in order to eat it. Trisha. Exactly. Yes. So, I'm going to use that excuse when I can get a Ferrari. Yeah, damn right. You're a YouTuber. See, now listen. I tell people this all the time. If you're not a YouTuber and you're spending money on cars and you're just doing it for no reason, it's cool if you're rich. Right. right. But if you're not rich, it doesn't make sense. If you're not a YouTuber and it's not your business to get paid to just go buy new cars and do all that, right? Then it becomes a little bit more like you know compromising, you know. So if I wasn't doing YouTube, there's no, I would have did this to my truck for sure. But over a long stretch of time, I would have done it so fast, so quick. Yeah, yeah, right. You know what I mean? So, so but you so, up right here, Paul. You so, so what? Um, your streets around here are confusing. Yeah, that's how I feel about y'all streets over there. Y'all got a damn railroad in the middle of damn highway in Chicago. And then some of your exits are on the left, some are on the right. The most confusing thing ever to me. You know what I mean? Really? Yes. But you get off right here. Yeah. So, go ahead and tell me. Uh, our streets kind of go north, south, east, and west. Yep. And uh, we have a train tracks in the middle of the highway? Yes. Y'all got y'all railroad in Chicago right in the middle of the highway. Uh, whatever y'all call that damn thing. It's right in the middle of the highway, bro. Oh, the L train. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. you from Chicago? Um, yeah, no, no, I'm like, <laughs> I, th I was expecting like a train exit. Yeah, oh, to yeah, go yeah. from O'Hare. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, How's it going around corners, Paul? How's it Not feel? bad, actually. It's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, what well, I'm saying, it's, it's not as bad as people think it is. That rubbing, though, it, it'll throw you off and scare the hell out of you if you drove, you've never drove before, and then they say you turn too hard, and then it rubs. If you do a hard turn, that's the only whack part about it, because it'll rub, right? Where is it rubbing at? On the fenders? On, no, no, on the fender, it's like a little plastic piece on there, but they, I, oh. I just gotta do some more trimming. You know, but I don't wanna do no more trimming, like I don't wanna make it look abnormally crazy. You know what I mean? Like, you don't wanna be just looking wild OD cut. Yeah. Like, I just don't like that. I want it to look still like a factory with the lift on there, even though it's completely not factory. I still want it to look that way, so. So, um, Flowmaster gave me a couple extra mufflers. Okay. And, uh, we'll have to get together if you want to. Are they black, mufflers? like these ones? No, they go 
under instead of the mid. You never see. Oh, it's not the exhaust. It was the actual muffler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Where you cut it off. Where you cut the uh, mid muffler. Yeah, I don't wear no muffler. I like it. Why? Why? What's, what's so special about that muffler? It gives it a little bit deeper tone, but still the same loudness. For real? Yeah. I put it on my Rebel. I'm gonna take it off because it's still too loud for my wife. So for I real? have. Yeah. So I had now have the mid range one, one that's a little less quiet. So you got just a couple of free ones just laying around the house. Yeah. yeah you might have to go ahead and send me one. Of them. I have to go ahead and get that. Yeah. Maybe I'll send that's it up to you. trying to eat you alive, huh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're like, you're the stupidest person in the world. First you burn your Hellcat, and then you drop your car off your trailer. They're just talking crazy. They, they want to say anything, no boy. That's what they yep. do. They always want to just say anything. Trolls, listen man, go get a job. Go get a family. Go get a wife. Go, go make some babies. Do something. But please, stop worrying yeah. about other people. Worry about your own life, people. When are you going to make a baby? I hear yeah, the ball. What the hell? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, brother, you can put the pressure on my neck like that. Damn. You know what I'm I see the comments all the time I in know. your videos. I always say that. I know. I, I, we will eventually have a baby, but like it's got to be like once the satchel has been delivered. The money. If for those who don't know what the satchel is in black people terms, that means money, right? So I got. We got to have some money. Look at the police right there. Look at him looking. Yeah, he's, oh, he's looking. Yeah, he's looking. We get pulled over. That'd be a legendary video. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me do it for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, but once we get satched up and the money's all the way there, we rich and cool. Once we get like the H family or something like that, like that kind of money, then I'm yeah. cool. We'll make as many babies as y'all want. We'll, we'll pop out by the dozen every nine months. We'll make one. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but until the end, ain't no babies being made. We got to secure the bag first. And then after that, then we'll, you know, do what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? Right yeah. Now, we have to do what we have to do. I agree. So, there you go. You know, you got about... 10 kids? I got four. Yeah, yeah, well, I multiply it and then divide it. Yeah. About 10. No, no. You know, <laughs> see, here, do you have cable? No, I watch YouTube. Oh. Well, we can't afford cable. We really? Four. Yeah, we yeah because that's what happened when we had our kids. We didn't have cable. Yeah. And, we, and we didn't have YouTube. Oh, for real? Yeah, so, you know, what else were we going to do? Well, you had a cell phone, so you had YouTube then, Paul. 
Oh, back then. Yeah, back then. Oh, there yeah, so we didn't have cable, and so you know, there's nothing else to do but make babies. What's the rub? You heard that? <laughs> Scared the hell out of you. I told it you. Did. I told you. If you're not used to it, you try to do a hard turn, and then you're gonna feel like you broke something. You see that man face? Yeah. You might got a slow mo that So that was hilarious. I'm glad I caught that on camera. <laughs> I thought I was gonna kill it. <laughs> no man, but there y'all go, man. Talk got garbage, man. That's it for my video. We still rolling on Paul Family yep. Cruising. If you want to go watch his videos, man, go to his YouTube channel, Paul. Paul yeah, I said, Paul, please. Paul Family Cruising. Man. You guys crazy. are the greatest fans in the world. I believe so, too. Oh, yeah. I'll take my 300-something thousand right now, time of this video over anybody's millions. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, yeah. I know they rocking me to the core. You know, you got a few little trolls sprinkled in there who just want to pocket watch and be weirdos and all that stuff. But for the most part, the G Squad is there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I greatly appreciate every last one of y'all watching the video supporting all the people that I support. You know what I'm saying? That I rock with, too. That's, that's big time and monumental in itself. You know what I'm saying? But uh, talk guy Carvey's man. Holla at y'all next video, baby. We out here. Say bye to him, Paul. Bye. What's up, guys? Bye. See you. <laughs> See you. Bye. Did you just get your words taken up or is that yeah. just... Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? That was Paul talking about. But anyway, now we're here for uh, Paul's video, man.